Governor Ralph Northam signed legislation that bans single-use plastic and styrofoam. Ted News reporter Tim Harfman shows us why some Lynchburg businesses are already ahead of the curve. The governor announced Tuesday that Virginia will eliminate single-use plastic at state agencies and public colleges and universities by 2025. This comes after he signed a bill banning all food vendors from using styrofoam by 2025. At Lynchburg Daily Bread, volunteers serve thousands of meals a month to those in need. We knew that a lot of our recipients were actually microwaving the styrofoam. Executive Director Tracy Dixon says the bigger issue was disposing the styrofoam, so for the past year, they switched to mineral-based containers. Daily Bread says they use 12,000 of these containers a month, and it took them several months to figure out which product would be environmentally safe while still serving those in need. We field tested more than 20 different items. The challenge is something that can keep food hot, but still hold the approximately two pounds of food we distribute. At Depot Grill, co-owner David Poole says they phased out styrofoam nearly a decade ago and switched to a biodegradable alternative. It's a uh, recycled sugarcane fiber, so it's recyclable, landfillable, and non-toxic. Both Depot Grill and Daily Bread say they've seen an increase in to-go orders due to the pandemic, so the containers are now a major part of their budget. There is a little rise in price, but um, long term, I mean, it, it's a no-brainer. These businesses are adapting and changing in order to do their part. You work with what you got. In Lynchburg, Tim Harfman, 10 News, working for you.